and welcome to the Early Childhood Development Center. I'm Clarissa Miles. I am the site manager and this is a brand new experience for me and I've been here 20 years. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 20 years. Beautiful October 1st day. Come on in. Let's get started. Okay, we are a locked facility. So that is our coded door, but before we do that, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our center. We are nationally accredited, which means we are a top quality early childhood program. We are state licensed, and most of our funding here is from the state, and we have 32 Groton School Readiness slots and eight New London school readiness slots. So 40 preschoolers, all of which are under school readiness. So that's state funded. And then we also have eight children under the age of three. And that funding is six are funded through the state and two are community slots. It's a small program, it's intimate, and that's what I like. So we're a real close family here. So once you join us, you're part of the family. Okay, so we have two preschool rooms, 20 in each. Right now, because of COVID, we have combined our infants and toddlers, and we have eight infants and toddlers. So eight children under the age of three in what is normally our toddler room. And because of COVID, we are following all strict guidelines from OEC, the Office of Early Childhood, as well as CDC. So, all parents must sign off on all of our protocol and children, three and up, are wearing masks. We are wearing masks. We are cleaning. We are taking care of all the PPE stuff. So come on. Enough of me, let's get started. All right, I can't show you the code to get in, so excuse my back, but here we go. Hallway, that is our kitchen where we prepare snacks for children. My office is straight ahead. I'm gonna first start with the now infant toddler classroom and this is miss shelley she is actually our infant teacher and she's going to give you a little brief tour of her room hello this is the infant and toddler room and come on in and we'll show you what we do in here we have development fully appropriate furniture where the kids can play they can do sorting boxes puzzles come on this way they can choose their own toys. They can play with houses, animals. We work on social skills. The kids feel like this is their house because they can get to everything and play with everything with the low furniture. They can do dramatic play in the house area. And over here where the babies are, they can feed the babies. And we have pots. And if we have smaller infants, we have cribs in the other room. Over here we have some drums, so we have music. And over here we have a library. We work on literacy skills. The kids can read their own books. We read the books to them. Um, and we also have large motor things here. If the kids get rambunctious, we can use these things up here. We play with balls. We play with a mat and bean bags, and we try to have our kids on the boards. They have their artwork up here, and then we have some more artwork over there. And then I'm going to take you outside, so come on outside with me. This is where most of our large motor things happen. Basically, we work on social skills all day long. But there's a climber for young children. They can climb on this. They love to climb. We have bikes. 
We have balls. We have an airplane. Over here we have a junk fan, which is famous in our classroom. Right over here. And I guess that's it. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Hi again. We are now going into one of our preschool rooms, and this is Miss Neela in here. Welcome to Jelly Bean. So, right now, we just kind of recently redid some of our centers to make sure that our new students who just came in enjoy everything we have. This is something they're really enjoying in our science area, sorting, using our fine motor skills to put the bugs in the correct containers. We recently redid the science and math center area. Here is our art center. Children can come up and use any of this at any time and we encourage them to do so. Over here is one of our quiet reading spaces. We have two. We have one over here and then we have one in the other corner. Um, encouraging children to either read alone or books that we read with them before nap time. We've added a lot recently to our building area, different blocks, all different textures. We have some foam blocks, big, little, uh, big and little Legos, because right now we have kind of a range of like three, five in here, so they're all kind of different levels with the Legos. Our beautiful writing area, where each child has a journal that they can come over and write in any day they want. We have some name recognition with um, letters. And because we are currently in fall talking about apples and um, pumpkins, we turn dramatic play into an apple orchard where they get a chance to be the cashier, pick apples, make apple cider. And then over here is one of, um, is a favorite area of many children in this room. And it's our quiet reading area where they can read to our guinea pigs, Skunker and Oreo. And then we just have all of their cubbies, which we're in the process of really organizing so that their masks are exactly where they need to be at any given time uh, with these fun new lanyards we were just given. And we also have a bunch of fall books out that we um, got through a partnership with the Groton Public Library. Hi, Neil is going to take you out to the playground and show you some of the aspects of the playground. Okay? So here we go!
to play tag. And there's one of the gates that we put up. So they have all this area to kind of swing their bikes around and drive over all the bumps. dropping their children off due to COVID so that they don't all have to come inside of the building. our second preschool room and let me introduce you to Miss Louisa and afterwards I'm going to introduce you to our director of our New London and Groton program. Hello, welcome to the sunshine room. Uh, this is our cubby area. If you notice in each cubby the students all have a bag. We got a, a goodie bag. It's their afternoon bag. Uh, each bag has different activities. I have a sample right here of what they have. So each student might have different things. Here they're just putting in the pom-poms in here by number. Some of them have these. Some other students have alphabet matching, lowercase and uppercase, and some have sizes. Then there's the ocean theme. Some of them also have a jungle theme. All of them have build your house. Some have blocks. Build your house with blocks. Build your house with Legos. Build your house with sticks. And then they're using these magnifying glasses to look at the ew stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is the book center here. Um, this week, the theme is uh, community helpers. So there's a lot of different books there about people in our community. This is our goodbye window where the kids can say goodbye to their parents in the morning when they drop off. This is our mask area. So when the students come through this door, they take their name and they put it at school and then they get their mask and put it on for the day. This is the clean mask area. Over here is the mask. Center. Each child has their own bin for math. This week we're doing numbers, so they have to count out their numbers. They also have these shapes. They'll use one of these to build the house or the car is what we have for them this week there. This is our art area again. We were talking about community helpers and these are some of the kids, their pictures they chose what community helper they want it to be when they grow up. We're talking, using, sorry, the letter C. And last week they had the letter C. So C is for cookie and D is for dinosaur. This is our friend Wyatt. He's hiding. But the kids love to come sit and talk to him, say good morning to him, feed him vegetables. Those are his favorite things. Over here, this week, we have colored blocks to build with for um, those construction workers. This is our science area. Again here, each student has a bin. This week in their bin, they went on a nature walk and they 
picked rocks and sticks and leaves and they can use their magnifying glass to view the items that they picked out from their walk. Over here is our sensory bin area. So this week they have magnet tiles, Jenga blocks, and cars so they can build roads and use their cars. Every week the the bins, the math, the science, and the sensory change with the theme. This one they've been doing for two weeks though because they the community helper theme has been going on for two weeks. This year is the circle area. Every day the students get to choose a new job. So we have botanists, so that person will water our plants. We have the caboose, the electricians. So there's a job for everyone every day. This week is the letter D, the number four, the rectangle shape, and the color yellow. And these are community helpers and our students' hands and what they chose. This is our daily schedule from the time they come in at 7 to the time they leave at 4.30. And right over here is our art center. Each child, again, has a bin. In their bin, they have crayons. They have this little container with tissue paper to decorate. They have colored pencils, glue sticks, pencil, and scissors, and a stencil. Um, if they just want to do art without a planned activity, they each have their own book here, and they can just draw whatever they like. Here she used um, some of the tissue paper to glue on here. So that's here and always available to them. This is the drying rack. Today they made fire trucks using their hands. And this table here is the play alone table. Um, sometimes the students just want to be alone and they ask, can I go to the play alone table? So they have different activities that they can play with here. Once they're done with the bin, they take it over to the sink area. We have a bucket there with soapy water and it goes in there, it soaks, and then at the end of the afternoon, everything gets bleached out. And that is the sunshine room. Thank you for visiting. Thank you, Miss Louisa. You're very welcome. That was great. Thank you, everyone. And one thing I just want to cover is the fact that because we are practically totally funded through the state, all tuition fees are based on the state sliding scale fee. So in reality, you cannot find a better, more quality program at the cheapest price. So if you are interested, please give us a call. And the number is 860-449-8217. And your best to contact Lori, our administrative assistant, at 1101. And if you are interested in enrolling, you've obviously had a tour. We will get a, an enrollment packet to you and then you can fill it out and then I will set up a time for you to come and complete the enrollment. All right, so we're gonna go back out in the hall. Oh, here's our director, Lynn Reichart. She oversees both our new London Day Nursery Program and this program, Early Childhood Development Center. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you taking a tour with us. Um, again, as Clarissa said, if you have any questions, feel free to give a call. I'm also available at R-E-I-C-H-A-R-T-L at childandfamilyagency.org if you have any other questions that you'd like to ask about New London Day Nursery or Groton Mystic Early Childhood Development Center. Have a great night. Thanks, everybody. See you soon.